Hey guys, welcome back for part 16 of this series on creating games using Construct 2. In part 15, we talked about adding layers, uh, so we had a background layer, a game layer, and a heads-up display layer. In part 16, we're going to talk about parallax and the scroll to behavior. And parallax is kind of builds on those layers and has them, sorry about that, has them scroll at different speeds. So it kind of gives a it kind of gives a 3D effect to your game, even though we're only doing 2D with Construct 2. It gives it a 3D feel and look. And then the scroll to behavior is kind of um, useful for zeroing in on your player. Maybe as he moves through a level, you scroll to him, and as you scroll, those different layers are going to move at different speeds, giving you that 3D effect. Um, the this demo doesn't really fit the game that we have been working on, so I'm just going to create a new project, but the um, you could kind of incorporate this in any kind of game that you're working on so back to construct 2 I've got a just a brand new game uh, not really anything so far um, one thing I did do was change my layout size to 3000 by 480 if you notice the window size is 854 by 480 so I just wanted the layout size to be the same height and then make it really really long so 3000 pixels wide so I'm going to start by double clicking and adding a tiled background. So this is going to be stars one. And I'll insert that here. And I'm going to go and load an image that I've already created. Um, so stars one here has several different stars. And when I import that, I'm going to resize it to fit our layout. And so I'm going to resize it to Let's see what did I say it was 3000 by 480 and then put it at zero zero and I'm gonna go in and add a layer for these stars so I'm gonna come in add a layer here and I'm gonna rename it to stars one and I want this let's go in and rename layer zero also so let's rename this to game or main whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put stars one behind game and I'm going to make sure that game is transparent so that you can see the stars in the background. Yes? Alright. Uh, so now let's go, I'm going to lock this layer so now I can't, oh, I need to actually move it to the layer. So I'm going to right click on my tiled background stars one and move to layer and move to stars one then, I'm, then since that background is locked, I will no longer be able to select it. So I'm double clicking in here trying to select it. You can't do it because it's locked. Very handy tool. So let's go in and add another layer of stars. So a tiled background, we'll call it stars two. And I'll load in again another image that I created. So stars two is here. They're a little bit smaller and a slightly different color. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and resize it to fit the layout so it's 3000 by 480 so now they kind of overlay each other and now I'm going to go in and add another layer and I'll rename this to stars 2 and I'm going to send it down to the bottom for now and we'll kind of talk about how those are going to lay out in a second um, and then I'm going to right click on this one and move to layer stars 2 and then lock stars too. And then go in and add one more layer of stars, so a tiled background and call it stars three. And go ahead and load my image in. So these are even smaller stars that are a reddish color. And I'm going to select those and again put it so it fits directly on top of our layout. 3000 by 480. So now there's uh, three tiled backgrounds in here and I need to go in and create another layer for stars three and I'll move that down to the bottom so uh, so we have game on top and stars one stars two stars three and uh, let me go ahead and select stars three and move to I'm not selected here. Stars three. Which layer did that get added to? Oh, that got added to 
level two or uh, layer two. So let me move that from layer two to uh, stars three, and now there. And you can the, what I'm doing here is just clicking these check boxes to show which layers are displayed. So I can check to see what's on a specific la layer by unchecking the rest of them. So I've got my my game layer and then the stars one layer and stars one is going to be the bigger stars and that kind of simulates the stars being up closer stars two is going to be is going to be behind stars one they're a little bit smaller stars three is behind stars two and again a little bit smaller so things that are bigger in here are we're going to want them to scroll faster so than everything behind them so let's select stars one and under this parallax property we can change this from 100 to 100 and that's the kind of the rate at which the um, this background will scroll or this layer will scroll horizontally and vertically so 100 100 is um, kind of just regular scrolling and then the lower numbers you get the slower they scroll so let's do this one 75 by 75 and then stars 2 I'll do 50 by 50 so we're getting a little slower as we get deeper and then 25 by 25 and now if I were to run the layout right now we wouldn't see any movement because we don't we're not moving the camera all we, all we would see is this uh, the window size right that we actually see here that dotted line right there if you can tell so let's go in and add I'm gonna add a simple spaceship looking thing so a sprite I'll call it space ship and again another one of the images the that I created so they're maybe not the best but for the demo purposes they work well uh, Oh, rocket is what I called it so rocket and I'm gonna resize this rocket to let's see 300 by 250 something like that that looks a little weird now so let me go 300 by 200 that looks good and I think this got added let's see which layer did this get added to it got added to stars 3 so let me unlock stars 3 right click and move this to our game layer so we want that to be on front on top and then since everything else is locked I can drag this in and put it wherever and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the eight direction behavior for our rocket we haven't talked about that one but it's pretty straightforward uh, let's go in and add a behavior and do eight direction there it is and it gives uh, keyboard movement so using your four arrow keys to move the spaceship around it will also set the angle of the spaceship towards the direction that it's going so it'll kind of rotate as we rotate with the arrow keys and then the last behavior I want to add and which is important here for parallax is the scroll to behavior so scroll to and that will automatically have the camera follow um, whichever character player object whatever it is that has the scroll to behavior and that's where we're gonna see the movement in the different layers and then see the parallax and 3d ish effect So let me go ahead and run this and so here's our layer our game and as I move you should notice that the white stars closer to the front are moving faster than the gold stars right behind them and the red stars right behind them so it looks like a, a really 3d effect so this can this can kinda add a really nice feature to your game make it look a lot more interesting cool whatever whatever you want to call it and then the eight direction behavior see how the rocket is changing directions um, depending on which way we're moving even if we turn it at different angles it rotates with the way it's facing so pretty cool stuff so that is that will wrap up uh, this part what is this part 16 on parallax and the scroll 2 behavior so stay tuned for coming videos